Rooster Lowe is in here somewhere. I wonder if that's him in the back. Yeah, probably. The table. He's a big troll there. The nice blue this scarf, is... yeah. The Talon, the uh, Lowe's bodyguard, who is supposedly no troll to be fucked with. Which is inconvenient. Is that him right here? Who's, the, who's this guy up front? He's security guard. Oh, that's just security guard, unnamed. Oh, see. Yep. Mind you, security guard, um, I assume that actually is his name. Could still be a problem for us, because, like, we got to get in there. I don't think we have, like, usually when you play this kind of level in Dishonored or something, there would be a convenient um, air grate for us yeah. to sneak into instead of having to talk to security guard. But I think we might actually have to talk to security guard here. Yeah, this game doesn't isn't exactly fully SSMA. All right, let's, let's chat. Maybe we can ask for a table in the restaurant. All right. This troll is speaking with surprising elocution. That's kind of racist narration. <laughs> okay. I, All right, so, so what's wanna, Danny going to say? Yeah, I, I, like, I, I've got no idea. Which of these entries... Which of these conversation options gets us to go into the restaurant and go wherever we like? The third option is the easiest to get along with. Um, yeah. It does seem like if Danny's in his prick game, uh, the second one would be what the smarmy guy in the glasses says. Mm, there's probably no... But that's, yeah, no. there's no reason to say that to yeah. a security guard. Let's just be like, yeah, okay, we want a table. Oh, okay. Right, make a reservation for one of the private rooms upstairs. Yeah, so in fact it could be that that guy is not Rooster Lowe because Lowe could be... Uh, in a VIP type place. Still a very nice scarf on the guy. Please keep in mind that any disturbances we probably de-escalated by our security. <laughs> Do you think they mean it or it's a euphemism? Oh, it's definitely a euphemism. Um, you don't walk up. Look, look at the guy's outfit. He's wearing like, that's like half medieval plate. Yeah. Half. Um, some pretty serious de-escalation equipment. Like, look, like the, the arms on that thing, that is like, that's like French knight medieval plate, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's got the uh, the armor abs on the center, so and cyber horns, uh, like he's got something yeah. strapped to his head there. Uh, so I, I think the escalation is not really is just a euphemism for uh, you know enter combat. I, I mean, he actually, certainly thinks so. I'm gonna ask him about the guards, right? Like we could just uh, right. not mention the guards and be like, you know, well, yeah, thanks. We we're not going. We're not suspicious. We have no reason to need to know about your security. But, better than option three, yeah. uh, the uh, let us fight right here, right now option. Wu Sing prides itself on having world-class security personnel, often hidden from sight. Yes, okay. <laughs> Comfort points out he's not hidden from sight. Well, I guess that was just right. informative. Hmm. Alright, so we've got some diners who would have preferred a shorter wait. We've got a waitress... Presumably, if we speak to this waitress, we could ask to be seated. That's not actually what we're yes. here for, though. Well, let's see. Let's at least walk until we're forced to stop. Yeah, walking. let's go on past. We've got a, we've got somewhere to be. Where we're meant to be here. Wait for target. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should do some reconnaissance though before waiting for anybody. Yeah. An order. Computer? That's locked. Can, we, can you get back there to that computer? Oh, it's the shop. I can yes. Well, hmm, someone might object if we go there. Is Henry? Henry. Hello, Henry. I, I kind of want to know more about Henry. He's a well-dressed man. His face is hard. His eyes are blank. He's uh, upset and drinking whiskey. Rough day, man. Oh, man. Oh, he's at the end of Cyber Glengarry Glen Ross. He's been publicly shamed for, yeah, for failing to close, presumably. The contract it took to, my contracts will never renewal. Dang. Yeah, that, this is literally Glengarry Glen Ross. Mm -hmm. Client suddenly changed the tune, the lead slipped away, sorry, the contract slipped away. <laughs> uh your renewal dates. What does this guy work for? Uh, telecommunications? This is a very strange system. Like, the, it, it seems like it would break, extremely break, inter office protocol to do this to someone who'd been there for 10 years. Unless then, that guy was marked as a loser anyway. That's true. If, if it's Glen Gary, Glen Ross. 
Huh. Well, okay, sure. Let's try and solve Someone this guy's hacked. problem. You know, this, this office worker, this put upon sales guy, his life is going bad for no reason. Maybe we can help because we've got nothing better to do while we wait for Rooster Low. Never missed a single date until now. Maybe I forgot to schedule the renewal date. Maybe. Yeah. What does my elf gut feel? Everyone's at each other's throat in this business. Still have no idea what the business is. It's in the. He's in the business of business. He's in the yeah, contract he business. He works for companies. Huh. So the guy he suspects is literally right here. Okay. I don't know why we're doing this, but it's kind of cool. So. I mean, if we can start a bar fight, that might let us slip in. Mm, could be convenient. Yeah. So they work for Woosing. We know this now. Connections and deals. You want to know what I think? Family connections, people in high places. Nepotism. Well, it's good this is a dystopia, so that doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> in the Shadowrun universe, it posits uh, a world where corporate power has become so unchecked that people are appointed to positions regardless of merit. Just wishful thinking. Well, I'm going to find out. Am I? Okay. I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. um, well, it's David. Hmm. But who's who's the waiter in the back left? Yeah, he uh, looks sort of like a waiter. Oh, he's also security security. Guy. Okay. Uh, changed race. It's probably I, I doubt it. All right, yeah. Okay, maybe it's just maybe he's they've just been hiring guys named security mm -hmm. guard. You maybe, know, there's yeah. more. There's found to be more than one in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say there is not bound to be, but it, it's plausible. Yeah. Do you think there really is anybody called security guard? Like being completely serious for a moment in real life. Is there anyone who has sort of the, who would put on an official name form if they were being asked to provide their name for legal purposes? Security guard. Probably no, but like only probably. Yeah. Here's the it's thing: there's there's there. so many. Yeah, they like like a lot of stuff that comes off. Like a lot of people do fake posts. A lot of people lie on Reddit. A lot of people uh, do fake our relationships posts mm -hmm. and am I the asshole posts, but. Eight billion people and trending upward. That's a lot of dice rolls. Yes, and people on... have weird names for all sorts of reasons. So, yeah. this is a Woosing's private box. Interesting that we've got a couple of Woosing employees who are beefing with each other, or, or should be at least. Hmm. Just Rooster Low doesn't work for Woosing, though, does he? He's a triad guy. He's a, yeah, he's. Um, yeah. The I'm pretty sure. Is going to tell us this? Primary money man for the 289s. Yeah, yeah. The, the Woosing headquarters is near the Shangri-La, though, so we did expect a bunch of uh, Woosing people here. Hmm. Should I try and get to the order computer? The, the bartender might get mad at me. Save the game first. Oh, an open program tracking food orders in their respective tables. AccuServe. Hmm. We have some notes on here. Okay, I guess nobody's noticed. Concerns regarding tonight's lack of security. I guess, like, everyone's just busy being worried about, um... Alright, is the no security thing something we were already, like, part of our run? Like, did our boss? It's been a while since I've... I know it's not. The, um, the I, thing. I don't think... Uh, hang on. Yeah, did Chen ar arrange something? Could kindly have helped us out. I don't know, actually. Manager's notice. Curtailing recreational activities. Special guest on floor two, who should be served by approved wait staff only. If that's Rooster Low, it would be good if we could impersonate some wait staff. Hmm. Handful of orders for the upper floor's private dining rooms. Floor two, private room three. Oh, we have someone with an allergy. We do. But who's allergic? Is it Talon or Lowe himself, who we don't want to kill? Yeah, I'm not... I mean, we could probably get him out to a bathroom, maybe. Mm -hmm. maybe hopefully it's that kind of shelf... For his sake, hopefully it's yes. that kind of shelf it's allergy not, and not the... Mission item added Talon's allergy. Well, it turns out... Oh, well, it is I guess talent. we now know. <laughs> Can I just plug new orders into this thing? A server's code. All right. Okay. 
Well, if we can get one, then yeah, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Should we talk to David before uh, waiting for Rooster Low to arrive, or try and poke around at the kitchen if we can get in there? That seems like it's well, really yeah. Let's to upset someone. Let's um. Well. Let's like exhaust all our dialogue trees before uh, hitting the the time skip button. Yeah, which is I'm, what, I'm I mildly what... infested in this corporate skull dodgery thing. I mean, it's not even skull dodgery in the uh, typical sense. Just this guy stealing this other guy's contracts for some reason, presumably to make money. David is all smiles. What are we celebrating? My recent successes. <laughs> He's winking. Maybe we buy the round for... See, the thing is, is usually when you click that button in a game, that is a completely superfluous and silly, stupid amount of money. Yeah, right? and also, we have so little money in this game. We're constantly arguing yeah. about whether to buy shotguns. I'm not going to buy these fuckers around. They, they're the corporate wage slaves. I'm sinless. I'm like, I live on a boat. You know, I'm just going to argue about this guy's crimes instead. Sorry, I mean about his natural ebbs and flows within the business world. <laughs> Call it corporate rhetoric. <laughs> it's very it's... weird because that, to me, that's a very value neutral statement. It sounds like oh. corporate rhetoric to me, but oh. it's n clearly not to Danny. Uh, well, I think uh, possibly something more is going on here than is being openly admitted. Excuse me, what are you implying? Wait, what? I thought we were doing a lot more than just imply it. Okay, I guess we really are. Well, I guess we have to. I mean, he's had a few. We have to yeah. say it out loud. Yeah. Sounds mighty suspicious, I claim. Henry didn't say that, uh... Hmm. He didn't say that. In fact, uh, Henry pushed back on it fairly hard. I but think the if first we wanted to betray him as having said that, we could probably start a fight. Do you want to do All right. that? Do we want to do that? I mean, between these assholes? All right. It would be cool, right? It doesn't, I'm not sure it would be useful in any way, but... <laughs> we can do it, and so <laughs> the delusion allows. Allows. <laughs> All right. Both men wearing the fiercest expressions they can muster. Okay. Uh, that is that is certain. You little worm. <laughs> I guess the idea is that if you send a bunch of shadow runners into a fancy restaurant and they have to wait around for their actual target, they get bored. Well, yeah, a thieving shit stain. Doesn't that mean he came highly highly qualified for woozing up a management? We'll do this outside. <laughs> shit, they're going out the back of the restaurant. <laughs> Okay. So, what did we gain from all of that? Oh, diversion. Okay, I guess technically we, we, we have a diversion. Was that desirable? Uh, it says uh, it, it, it was, I guess. It was... Did, we, did it give us any karma? <laughs> I didn't see no. the karma oh, thing pop it didn't, up. No. That's, that... <laughs> but yeah, um, there is now, I guess, there's probably some guys fighting out there. We probably can't uh, they're in the, Yeah, let's talk to that guard again and see what's up. He won't talk to us. Oh, is he... No, he doesn't have a talk. All right. Nope. Well... Cool. So we have a waitress to talk to in the front of the house and a chef. Yeah. Waitress, a chef, and the ability to wait for our target. <laughs> I really don't know why we started a fist fight between a couple of corporate sales guys, but it was fun. All right, this waitress is surprised that they came up from behind her. Rector looks kind of dapper with his uh, new outfit that he's leveled up into. Black and red stuff. Guy Chu walks... Uh... Very funny. He's he, he um, kind of like, monstrous. I think I said yeah, but... like, like not really a hunchback, but like, like if a hunchback was able to do something characterized as loping. Yeah, like, he, he, looks he, like he certainly can, looks like he can move. He looks like he can use his arms very rapidly and powerfully, and is about to do so. Uh, well, there's no real reason to bother this waitress, is there? I don't know. See if we can get a server code. Oh yeah, we do need one. You're right. <laughs> she musters an empty smile. 
Uh, should not let on, I think, that we're looking for Mr. Lowe. That could alert him. Instead, I'll just ask her questions randomly. Uh, oh, well. A group of our preferred Wu Sing diners are celebrating inside. Respect their privacy. Okay, uh, yeah. I don't think it would be a good idea to ask about Lowe. So, I won't. Oh, well. Oof, uh, pissed off the wait staff for no reason. It's okay. It's not like we're, like we're actually going to order any food here. We might yeah. fake an order. Uh, let's hmm. go talk to that chef. I know what he's going to say. He's going to say, what are you doing in my kitchen? Hey, everyone's, um, you know, indulged us so far. That is true, actually. I guess they're assuming we're rich patrons and so have to be given leeway. Delicious scents. I told them I needed an extra server, not a hobo. Well, what I need is an extra server code. Yeah. And we also, we, are, we need to make our way to the locker room. We need to get back there. Um, which we'll probably only be able to do after uh, advancing time, I guess. All right, then let's click the wait button, which is a, a sink for some reason. A gnarled bar stool, little in the way of comfort. The bar is neglected in comparison to the restaurant. That's interesting. I guess people don't come here to drink. Hmm. Mm, that makes me not really want to take it to get a drink because. Uh, also, we're not spending money. No, <laughs> we'll just wait. <laughs> The minutes tick away. Hello? Chef, we have a problem. A big problem. Cork mage? The hell? There's a fight on the outer deck. Oh shit, there is, isn't there? <laughs> this guy hates jokes. Okay, wait. No, two guys couldn't make that much noise. Did they start? Did they get everyone else involved? Like, is maybe like are Henry is and like, David now? They've like harnessed a faction of woosing each against each other and started some kind of corporate brawl. All right. No, there is no way this fight is bad enough that it could damage the restaurant's reputation. <laughs> but <laughs> who knows what's happening? Do they have there? guns. <laughs> they may have cyberware. Has security been informed? Yeah, where is security in all this? We're so understaffed today that they're struggling to gain it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's funny how we kind of randomly asked the guy at the front, you know, where are all your security guards? And he was like, of course, they're hidden. And I, I, I thought that was perfectly reasonable. But it's actually starting yeah. to look like, actually, they don't have a bunch of security guards hanging around. And security guard up front was just a good talker. Yeah. He oh. was characterized that way. Oh, hello. But those are... Security. The those look like shadow runners. Those don't look like uniformed guards. No, maybe those are the backup security. Yeah. So the good news is they left the door open behind him. Be nice All to right. grab a server code first, though. Is there anyone else to click on here? Let's see. There's our own people. Let's uh, check the back here. <laughs> this poor place, like, they really should have used security, because... Uh, a single group of trolls showing up. Sorry, I mean like lowercase t trolls. Shadow yeah. rooms, uh, is like really putting a cat among some pigeons. All right, let's see if we can find the staff area. That should get us some wait staff outfits and probably the ability to access the uh, point of sale. Yeah, that would be ideal. So I think we've got to go upstairs to, to find anything like that without someone noticing what we're doing. All right, the music changes. Yep. Fancy looking doors, Buddha statues, miscellaneous plants. Hmm. I feel like. Isn't that the second suite? Isn't that Rooster Lowe's box? There, There is a VIP on the second floor. I, I am currently yeah. unclear on as to whether he's here already or we're waiting for him to arrive. I think he's here already. I and think he's he was the here second be even VIP. before we arrived. Yeah. And also, we can't go back down. Okay, so I think we may have lost our chance to poison the food. I think possibly the food poisoning thing was an alternative to the alleyway distraction, is what's going on. Possibly so. Talon may have gone out to look at that if we're lucky. So we may probably should just have to go over it at this point. Um, let's just open the door and be like, hey, Mr. Lowe, would you like to come with us? 
or die. There's two people in the room that we can see. And two massive dragon statues. Aha! The talon is missing. Yeah, so the the guys who ran out Oh Private Security. It wasn't yes, the rest right. of those people. Those, it was were... those people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was surprisingly effective. Thanks, Henry and David. Wait, why are those guys helping out? Because uh <sighs> low... All right. yeah. yeah, I guess they're nice people. I guess maybe they freaked out. I will find out maybe. Okay, how do we want to play this? Without support, he appears nothing more than a trapped rooster who, without his talons, is defenseless. Okay, that, that metaphor is straining. It's creaking. It's very strange. Um, Roosters don't work like that. No. Oh, um, if you've ever met a rooster, seen a rooster, I have... the disposition of its feet <laughs> is not going to change its temper. Uh, um, they do bellow. I'd say third, third option sounds about right. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, I mean Dan, very, number two is very Danny. Yeah, two and three I like. Number one is like, I guess, the super professional option. We're, we're not very, really super professional people. We try to you know, do things successfully. Yeah, let's just, just make it clear. Just you know, get kidnapped, okay? Who do you think I am? Some five-year-old in a park? Yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Effectively, yeah. Never you mind. Get this street tramp out of here. Uh, are we going to claim it's our job to scrag people? That would... I assume that means kill. Like, this is Shadowrun. Yeah. Yes. The, the uh, opportunity to use Shadowrun slang is kind of full, uh, few and far between so far in this game. Yeah. But I still... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's, let's claim it's our job to do this thing to people. I don't want to use that word. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Excellent. All right, so, Lo, uh, you ever met Kindly Cheng? Do you want to? Spare my life, I beg you, please. Um, Two yeah. or three... Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's make it clear that we don't actually want to kill him. Can't leave the same way we came in. You got any other ideas, Goblet? Chicken guy. The realization that he's at your mercy is setting in. I can't. This does seem like a very arbitrary... <laughs> decision here. It is by by our by our shadow running team. Well, we did we did take this mission thinking it might be a nice quick one, and uh, maybe it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, the third option. The, the problem I have with this is that roosters don't have teeth. No, that's we shouldn't we shouldn't indulge this nonsense. Um, Just outside of the room to the right, but it's locked. <clears throat> And you have the key. Just start grabbing him, <laughs> shake, tearing him <laughs> yeah. upside down and shaking him. Yeah, we might find some pay data while we're at it. Find a key in his coat pocket. Optional, protect Chun Sing Rooster Low from all harm. Uh huh. Well. All right. So that does say to me that we are about. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Um. That's just, that's what that says to me is I'm glad we didn't bring a zero bell. <laughs> Also, there's not even an option to do computer shit here. Actually, you know what? She probably. Could I bet there would have the been, yeah. Computer. Yeah. No, no, because usually when there is that option, when a decking option exists, uh, it's just grayed out if you don't have a decker, right? Yeah, good point. Hmm. So possibly this was extremely the right mission to leave Zero Bell behind on. All right. Uh, Daniel, I don't know. This is. Is this your channel? I gotta admit, this is this is my channel for sure. Sure is. Like, name's Palon. I'm your getaway driver. Do I do I know a Palon? Is this true? Uh, no. God damn! Time is not ticking, Palon. Clocks tick. Time doesn't. All right. No. Mm. Ah, the HKPF. Okay, time may well be uh, ticking. Like uh, the metaphor. Yeah. 
Loading dock across the bridge from the restaurant's main entrance. Big old schooner. Okay. Let's go, I guess. But yeah. with what valence? Well, I mean, we have the full combat party here. If we wanted to kill some cops, we have the right people to kill some cops. With. Yeah, and every cop we kill today is one who will not try and kill us later. Like, they have declared war on us. Door's locked, and I don't know the code you may have to break in. What? Uh, thanks, Palon. Okay, so, we want to make sure Rooster Load has not come to harm. I have one plan for achieving that, which is to save the game before fights. It's, uh, that makes sense. About the best I've got. That's you know, standard escort mission protocol. A pair of triad gangsters have blocked our path. Okay. Are these the first people to try it on? <laughs> the rooster is crowing. We are not going to be able to have any stealth se sequences here. He's just going to be yelling at random people on the street to attack us. Uh, his minions clearly don't think much of him. <laughs> right. Uh, did we just kill them? I mean, if we do, st every combat we start is a chance for him to get hurt, right? Yeah. We prefer not to go into a combat. That said, these guys are inviting a four on two beatdown. They really are, like, quite specifically. Also, that said, our damage here is going to be like we have to plan for attrition. I think like there's gonna we, probably be three or four fights. Yeah, the thing is, if we I, I think if we delay, if we spend time arguing with them, there's a chance that the cops who will be much more heavily armed come down on us. So right. let's just let's just kill them basically. Uh, okay, so hey, Rooster Lou can fight and is on our side, but all he can do is punch. Oh, he's got a med kit. Yeah. Cool. Well, okay. this is good because this means that we can control him and the AI isn't going to take care of his no. movement. Which Specifically, would be we can move him away from enemies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what can Gaichu actually do in a fight? Because we haven't done things with him. He's got uh, infected claws. He can punch pretty well with him. He's got a frenzy claw attack. He's got this hand forged katana. There's uh, the opening water stance. Coup de gras. Do you want to send that is a in lot there? of damage, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to charge with Danny and Gaichu. Ractor can probably stay back mm -hmm. and let the um, let uh, Koshe sort of be ranged for this party formulation, and that seems like right. the correct use of him, okay, especially let's go for given the where he starts who's, out. Uh, who's in the open then? And uh, another super high chance to hit, but you know, it's a charge it gets us there. Um, well, that was a good hit. Nice. Yep. Uh, oh, and the thing about Gaichu is he is actually doing the whole crit build thing correctly, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he does very um, high so damage. I notice he doesn't do AP damage like uh, Danny Flash does, though. Um, so, speaking of which, yeah, we should that or switch to the machete, but... I've got a charge to get there, so it's machete to start with. Although, unless we want to throw lightning bolts to start. Ah, let's, let's charge in, basically, we're going for... Well, no, you have to you have to equip the machete. You're on the Emperor's sword. You're completely correct about this, yes. Damage 10 versus damage 9, yeah. Thank you, I almost made a terrible mistake. Uh, sure, let's try and finish her off. We've got the option of hasting one of these guys with Gobbit. Yep. Um, however, Rector probably wants to... Ooh, we can use our new overclock. Give Koshe 2 AP. That's Hell yes. Nice. Of course, I've got to actually go into drone control mode, and, uh... Whoops. A Teams window was in the way of that, and now I can't see where the appropriate button is. Ah, uh, here's the one. Okay, so, Koshe uses a single AP to move out to here. Uh, have we got any... He does have some explosives, but that would, uh, all hit by his blast. That's definitely got friendly fire, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. Um, target blocked shot. Oh, that's a two sh AP action. How about doing a single is AP? It, it, no, it's a one AP action. It's two cooldown. Ah, yes, right? you're right. Yeah. Because I'm thinking we could try and finish off the wounded triad thug and then do mm -hmm. something more interesting to 
the other one if this succeeds. It did. Perfect. So this other guy, ideally I'd like to stun him so he doesn't get a chance to do anything nasty. <coughs> you do AP damage? Yep. Yep. And can I do even more AP damage fire? Kneecapping? Yes. Ah, I miss. Ow. Haste. Uh, Haste, um, yeah. someone. Indeed. I think Danny, is Danny still the best? Yeah, because he's, he's, we not, want him to have the most um, AP minuses. Oh, is he? He does, but Danny, unlike um, Gaichu, is not in contact with the thug. Right, right. I reckon Gaichu does right. do an attack if he gets the haste, so. So Gaichu gets to show off with uh, waves upon the shore. Actually, I could also use claws. Ah, no, you not as good as swords, it seems. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> and Rooster Low, I guess you... Is here. On. Yeah. Alright, this thug gets a turn. Good luck to him. He did not have good luck. No. Key focus. Ow. I'm focused on all the key in his blood. Well, uh, this party is really good at killing people. That was the idea. All right, we're trying to get... So we want to basically head directly across from the main restaurant entrance, and we should see a large boat. I see some fish. Oh, there's a door. Docking bay door. There's also a spirit point here, so I'm kind of wondering... If we have to go around... Because they did say the door would be locked, right? Yeah, here's someone going to burst in and attack us. Yeah, we will see what happens. Aha. Excellent. Strength five. I mean, it's not code. It's not as cool as doing the spellcasting astral method. But I'll using say. your your key focus and the power of the physical adept to rip a door off is, is, is pretty cool, right? That's true. Oh, not cool enough. It's led to the Talon coming after us. Okay, he's pissed. <laughs> He's also tearing doors from their hinges, so I'm nearly. Talon, I'm over here. I've got weapons trained on me. Take this innocent and straight to the top. <laughs> what? Okay. Clearly Rooster Low has not been making friends. No. You're beneath me. What the hell? All right, so I have already divined what our biggest problem is here, and that is that um, Johnny, the Talon there, has a rocket launcher. He does, and he seems to want to kill Rooster Lou, who we need to keep alive, and that guy can't defend himself. Yeah. Just his fake bravado melts away. We had some good runs, you remember? I had no choice, Johnny. <laughs> okay. This guy's right, it's not just guy. this. It, 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 he is. It can't just be the yeah. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Sniper. Heavy weapon. Heavy weapon. Pistol. <laughs> Someone else with a freaking sh shotgun. I think. Oh my god. <laughs> We're having problems. All right. We can still take them. Um. I'm pretty sure. There is a minor problem. Danny Flash is working on the door. What the hell? He's All right. ripping it open, I guess. I guess it wasn't that easy. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, that's annoying. Well, let's get Cushing um, in there right away, then. Yeah, yeah. He's our best other tank. Like, we brought the killer squad. I think we should take well, it for, for sure a walk. We sure did. So um, let's get this drone closer to Johnny the Talon than Rooster Low is. In fact, uh, okay, so yeah, kneecapping What do we stun. got? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Minus two AB, that's good. That's, uh, you don't want him to have any of those. That doesn't seem to have stunned him, so I guess he's got more than two AP? Yeah, and he's got a lot of health. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so Crochet's got more actions. Actually, can you? How yeah. do you tell whether if when someone's stunned, they stand up and start wobbling, don't they? Yeah, they get the Z Z Z over their head. I'm pretty sure. So it would be worth it to do even more AP damage to this guy if we could. I'm not sure we can though. Yes. Uh, got, no, uh, Danny is the guy who has to handle that. Yeah. Um, okay, Crochet could shoot someone at the back, or it could uh, do saw blade. Wow, the talent's hard to hit. Yep. I mean, hmm. taking out the guys around him isn't a bad idea. Um, yep. Some of them are not hard to hit. Like, this woman looks like she has a very large weapon and it worries me. Yeah. Might take a shot at her. Cool. And might take a second shot at her. Yeah, just pump the rest of the AP into her until she dies. Or, um, you got two more shots? Okay, right. so Gaichu's got to get in there. So let's see. He's uh, he's going to be able to attack if he charges. Rushing stream it is, I guess. Yeah. Uh, unless he wants to do this. Yeah, if they were clumped up, it would be worth clawing them. As it is, which one to run in. Stance Water 2. So we'll have to see what stances do on his next turn. Or possibly right now if Gobba hastes him. Yep. Mm, that's right. Freezes the friendly target's AP by one. I guess Gaichu is a friendly target? He's not... Uh, I wouldn't call him friendly, exactly. He's on our side, though. He's an allied target. Yeah. Okay, so we now have... Waves middle on the shore. Middle attack stance chain. What does that do? Doesn't have a very good chance to hit, I can tell you that much. Hmm. Should we do it anyway? Yes. I mean, we don't really have a choice. Ah, well. That wasn't very effective. Rooster Low is going to want to hide. Specifically, more or less where he is, I guess. Like, so, so yeah, like back. right there. I, we, we kind of want him in a place where when their logic chain goes through, they want to prioritize our clumped together units. Mm -hmm. So we want him away from any potential... Um, yeah, there's uh, no, explosive attacks. no one to use yeah. a medkit on yet, and uh, I think if Gobbit gets a chance on our next turn, she'll want to summon a spirit. Yep. Okay, there's a lot of enemies here. This is an interesting find. Maybe the HKPF will show up behind them and help us out by accident. <laughs> yeah, she's got to die. <laughs> They've got an Isabel. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Hmm. It's Oof. not good, no. Alright, um... So, Enforcer, Enforcer, Enforcer... All these people are triad Enforcers, in fact. And a Sniper. Hmm. Two of them are next to each other. Are those they are... Clawable? Well, I, I don't know if that's the best move, though, because getting a Gaichu out even farther with his health situation... Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. Um, Sure. Do you think Rekt is in range to buff Koshe here? Let's try it out. Actually, uh, Koshe has been uh, has been stunned, unfortunately. Uh, if I go into control mode, does that mean it just won't work? Yes. Okay, so we cannot control them. I could repair it. Is that worth doing? I don't think any of this is... I mean... Wounded 7. That's on a 5 turn cooldown, so I don't think we should... Well, no, this works the same as the heal spell. Yeah, So most recent it, yeah, damage. So, it's probably yeah. better than shooting with Rakta's gun, right? Because he's just no good at that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll make sure Koshay's not going to get destroyed. Not that it was likely anyway, he's very heavily armoured. Um, I think right. Gaichu should go continue to annoy Johnny, because uh, mm -hmm. I don't like where Johnny is, and this is yeah. Yeah, closer. Yeah, it gets him further, yeah, it gets him further away from all the other nasty people. Yeah. yeah. Johnny, quote the Talon, unquote. Mm -hmm. Rector, yeah. So Gobbit, what's her? Look at her inventory with E. I want to see if she has any real like. So we could summon from the environment, mm -hmm. right? But she has those really powerful single-use charms. Yes, she does have a force for better. nature elemental fetish, and also a spirit summoning point. Possibly we could use both of them. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Now, there's a water thingy, and here ah no, we can't have two summons at a time. It appears. Well, in that case, right. it's probably a good time to cast Heal. 
See if uh, she can target out. Gaichu. She can't. Maybe she can't because it's. We should have. We should have done that before he moved. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. I think she might not have been able to target him anyway where he was. So in that case, we either want to move with her or. Oh. Okay. I need to stop casting. Here. How do I? Okay. There we go. Ah, should she move out of cover? Probably. Mm. That way there's somebody I mean, on the side of Rooster. If there's a, yeah, but I mean, if there's a choice, she should be standing in the full cover. Like, it's... Mm. Like, it's like on the on the box, though. That is not full cover? Okay. No, it's not Fine. for some reason. It doesn't uh, seem to be an option. So I think, that's very let's get out irritating. There, yep. What's this, so. uh... It's a monsoon. It has hydro daggers and also some this, spells. Strip it does have a heal. Thank Ooh, God. Oh, hello. Can we use that? Nice. That's a big heal. We also have a water bolt, which strips armor from the Talon, who has too much fucking armor, but it would have a low chance to hit him. We have strip armor, which also strips armor. What? Oh, high chance to hit strip armor instead of low chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll use that one then. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I understand why the other one... It. Well, it can try again next round. I think we get a couple free rounds with um, the summoned mm -hmm. thing before we have to blind bet AP. Does this thing have um, range? I'm not sure whether I'm attacking is going to constitute moving here. I don't think... It... Just the spirit have to move closer, basically, to get a better chance to hit. That did increase his chance to hit a lot. Okay, that was probably worthwhile. God darn it. I got a bunch of good rolls here. Um, well, Rector's got a shot to take on someone. Might as well. Won't, yep. Sorry, good what shot. What about, uh, I guess, I guess the woman with the grenade launcher is a bit too far away. Yeah, yeah she doesn't even have percentage. I could shoot at the sniper, though. Although the sniper's got heavy armor, so probably not a good idea. I guess this guy's the closest and easiest to hit. And he did take a little bit of damage. It'd be really nice if Danny Flash was not occupied. Yeah. So Rooster does not dis need to use his medkit desperately enough to get out of cover, so we'll leave him where he is. Okay, things are only going okay. Good. Yeah, good. Target the spirit and the drone, this is good. Goche is such a good tank. <laughs> it's just like, I think got so many hit points of armor. Complete... Ouch. Oh, damn, that... She needs to die. That yeah, character does. That would be ideal. All right. They are completely failing to do any kind of useful focusing of their fire, which is nice. It is. Um, oh, what else we got? Well, we've reactivated Koshe, so that's something. And Buff his aim for a turn, because he's... Yeah, oh. Well, okay. Yeah, I think I misclicked. I didn't actually mean to do that, but I buffed it with something. Well, I'm not even sure what. It's the strength buff, so now uh, it's the melee buff, basically. Um, so now these two idiots to the n to our north are, are better targets. Possibly um, so, yeah. So what do we got? We can we got any multi-target shots? No, he's kind of a single-target guy. Oh, drone. Yeah. There is the grenade launcher woman. We could, like, charge her? Yeah, but that puts us way out of position. It's kind of safe for Koshe, not for anything else, anyone else, but uh, for the drone, it's okay. I mean, yeah, but we need the drone standing right here in the middle to soak up all these idiots' AI fire. Mm, ideally like, so. Because if, if Koshe moves, then that, that goes to uh, Gaicho, and Gaicho is um, okay. not so great at the whole soaking. All right, then let's thing. default to no. using kneecap when we can, because the stun is just good. Yep. But now is a time when we can. And then a high crit chance saw blade hit. Yep, that's crit. Good. Gaichu. Uh, He's up to the third hit of the water stance chain. As sparrows crack the ice. No, these attacks I, don't seem These to are all just the same attack. They I'm appear to be sure. the same attack, yeah, roughly. Uh, uh, buff of, his aim. Or, yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. If he's going to be tanking, he needs a uh, goblet behind him. <laughs> so, Johnny the Talon is so hard to hit. 
I don't suppose this oh, monsoon that... thing could take another crack at his armors. Can yeah, I think he's out of line of sight. Mm, no, no. no. Ah, there we Thank go. God. Oh. All right. It's also got hyper uh, daggers. What do we want to focus yeah, sure. on? This guy here, or no, that guy's telling us is too hard to hit for the spirit. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Got one of them down. So should Gaichu continue to pursue Johnny? It seems like the sort of thing he'd do is yeah. go and have a samurai duel with a big guy. And killing this guy is an optional objective. We may get yeah. something for it. Mm -hmm. As right. opposed to his buddies, which are, you know, Let's whatever. unleash the final attack in the water stance chain. Yeah. And it resets. Okay. I wonder what is happening in the background. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it did hurt him, though. Or... Yeah. Just like Maybe that's normal. just entirely cosmetic? No, no idea. No idea. Stance water too. Okay. There must be some way to see what's going on here. Like, I mean, if you look at the stats here, they're all the same. It's a damage 11, armor piercing 0 attack. Yeah, but I, I reckon it's it's adding some kind of buffs or stats. Like, he's got some icons on his character sheet here, which we can't see the meaning of. Uh, Gaichu. Race, human, gender, male, crew, red, semi. Yeah. If you hover over his character portrait, does it expand? Uh, like on, on the, the task bar here. Or there, there, there. Haste. Uh, it, Haste. Hover over the character in the war, in the in the game. That's what I'm doing. Oh, in the game. Ah, yeah, there it is. Water too. Okay, but what does that mean? <laughs> what does it doesn't do explain you? anything. Okay. It probably Excellent. does something, though. My feeling yeah, I'll look it up. Something. I'll look it up between sessions. It doesn't matter. Goodbye, We've killed Johnny. Awesome. We killed Johnny yes, okay, it was very, very good that we killed that guy. Good. It was, that it? We got karma for it. Karma. Yeah. Okay, uh, Rooster Low does not know what's happening, but he can continue hiding behind the boxes, I think. Yep. Now, it would be nice to use his medkit on someone, but not nice enough to risk leaving. Ooh, the sniper is sniping Gobbit now. Um, she should good. not be standing out. Oh! Ouch. Okay. Go Bad. Go. Go. Take Very Koshin, silly. That's like it. Okay, speaking um, of Koshin. All right. Actually. Yeah. Give him give him the aim and then have him get rid of that grenade lady. Aim buff. Well, yeah, let's try can to he, anyway. Can he hit her without no, without moving? Without moving yeah. because he's also right next to the other guy. So let's see. We've got increase accuracy, single target, one AP. We've got one shot that's like got a good chance of hitting her. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Mm, five it's damage. Not enough damage. Let's at least try and stun her a bit then. Do have a ranged AP damage shot. There we go, minus one AP. That'll help a bit. Gaichu can come out here and use Water Stance 3 to do whatever that does. Ah, Alright, I think. Alright, that is the second time it has auto crit. Yeah. At 1.3%. Perhaps that's it. Perhaps it. Uh... I mean, if that if if it's a thing where we get an auto crit every three attacks, I am perfectly fine with that. that seems reasonable, yes. Um, hmm. What should Gobbit do before she ducks into cover? Haste somebody? Um, she can't get back into cover if she hastes somebody. You're right. It'll use all her AP. Mm -hmm. uh, I say buff guy chose accuracy and then duck in. Last three rounds, and, yeah, it's a pity she's not standing on a ley line or anything, it'll be a AoE buff, but this will do. When she oh, ducks actually, in, have her move. Maybe we should yeah. buff guy choose armor. Alright, yeah, that's Last fine until combat end. Yeah, that'll help. And then uh, go and She hide. can move back to low, and low can use his make kit on her. Good idea. I'm not letting him keep any of his possessions. Alright, she's been healed somewhat and is not particularly endangered now. And Gaichu can do another attack, and so will. Which is kind of. He's, he's a bit of a one trick pony, but the trick is hit with sword, which is a good trick. It's not as. Yes. Yeah, uh, Danny's swords are better, though, but that makes sense. He's the protagonist. Um, okay. And I guess that's turned. Ooh! Ow! Rector just got sniped hard. That sniper had been moving herself into position to be able to shoot. Ooh, ouch. Oh, wait, no. All right. The armor helped. So, we ow. have some problems. We can just leave. We've 
we've finished our, our secondary goal. Like, our primary goal does not involve... Like, go to our option, or uh, to our PDA. We don't have a goal that's, like, kill all these guys, do we? No. Protect Rooster Low from harm and poison the Talon's food. We're not going to poison nope. the Talon's food. So, yeah, let's send Rooster Low out here to, to hit the objective marker. Now, I think we will all have to, one by one, pile in there, except possibly Koshe. Yeah, but this at least but... preserves Low from harm, because, yeah, yeah he's out. Okay, so yeah, Gaichu is the only one who's really at risk here. Then, how fast is he? Not quite fast enough. Do it anyway. What if no? Yeah, run him back. Then we'll have him get hasted by uh, a Gobbit, mm. and that and then he'll use that one AP to complete the thing. Who uh, who else do we got here? Look at Raptor. What's his AP situation? Actually, did I leave uh, him in position got... for Gobbit to cast haste on him there? Uh, I didn't. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, well. um, maybe we can try the same trick with Raptor. Yeah, let's let's just get. Because Raptor is also. I'm just trying to stop casting haste here. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, Raptor is in a bad spot and only has one AP. You're right. Okay, so yeah, let's move Raptor to there. He's in line of sight, or should be. He gets the haste. He now gets to run away. Danny Flash can take hits if he needs to. Gobbit can't is the problem. Well, have Danny. Well, do we want to use a uh, see if uh, Gobbit has a med kit? No, she doesn't have a med kit on her. It doesn't matter because she has no AP. Danny has um, a med kit on him. Use it on Gobbit. Yeah, but for he doesn't get auto items back. Seems if we use it now, we use it. Um, yep. So the blind bet is that no one can get close enough. All right. So here's the thing about Guy Choke. He has a trauma kit on him. Yes. I'm pretty sure. So if he gets like brought down here by the sniper who i think still has to reposition to see him again i'm not sure mm -hmm. he might be on like the one tile the sniper can actually see from their position which would suck but even if the sniper does bring him down he trauma gets back up i guess the question is what happens if everyone's escaped except for one character who gets killed do you then lose that is a good question i say don't move danny have danny stand there and take whatever fire can, mm -hmm. like have him stand there out of cover I'm pretty sure they can't get in position to yeah. kill him entirely in one turn. Yeah, and he's completely safe. Yeah, he, he cannot be killed in one turn, no. So if I'll literally... Okay, is there anything useful we can do to, like, super defense mode? Uh, key powers. Mystic armor, yeah. Yes, Perfect. click that. Okay, Danny is now unkillable. He's also incredibly fast. Physical adepts are good. They don't start out yep. particularly good, but they get good. Okay, the enemies are now doing something somewhere. <laughs> Alright, they were unable to see us or stop oh. us or do anything. Oh, whatever it was, it wasn't very good. We are out. Yes, physically pulling the door open was the way to go after all. I hope this boat and this pylon character really are here for us. I mean, in a good way. Okay, this boot, it's swaying languidly. It's insulated. It has the scent of sea and moldering wood. I guess this feels like home. <laughs> Alright, we also, we didn't use any consumables except for Lowe's, Lowe's uh, yeah. med kit. So, so in case, even if they do, if they do spring another fight on us in this run, mm -hmm. we're still at full power. Yeah, that's true. In fact, uh, except apart for, from like all the three points piece. or something. We're... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um... Rooster Low, yeah, in fact, a number of people, all the Triad people we met, the 289s were Oh, yeah, they, like, they really wanted him dead. Yeah. Can you say the same? Raptor is effortlessly cool as usual. Yep. Slightly cooler than Danny Flash here, to be honest. Our mandatory dialogue was less cool. All right. Is that the, is that the run? The screen has faded to black. The boot heaves right. and pitches. Extraction success. It wasn't easy, says the mission screen, kind of incorrectly. Actually, no, as it says, it should have been. It would have been if that damn Talon hadn't mangled your plans. Yeah, I guess that's fairly accurate. Like, the whole thing was actually very easy until the Talon turned up, and then it was kind of dangerous. But even Yeah, we, 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 I think we would have been in significant... Had a significant issue of is there a one of those... Uh, yeah. <laughs> runners instead of those Gobbit. Yeah, because our most powerful character there. was unfortunately opening the door, so we had to rely on the, uh, well, the rest of the A-team. 
Well, no, no, actually, no. You know what we would have done? We would have reloaded the save and had Desirable open the door. <laughs> yes. And then we'd have had our eight, our, our power team. Good point. Um, Small army of triads. Because that is honestly that is that is a reload point. If you're going to spring that on mm-hmm. us, like that is the first time we've had to do one of these timed door segments. It was kind of dirty pool to give you an option that is rip the door open and have it take seven turns. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's kind of sucky. But I mean, it went fine. Rooster is fine. The HKPF didn't even show up in time. Yep. All in all, a good run. All right, and a, and a single a pay. single uh, video run. Not one yeah, of these. Uh, we started the video in the run. So yeah, I'm mildly cheating. Hey, do we but that we were at the front door, right? We may have well, enough charisma, you know. common alpha charisma. Oh, kindly yeah. Cheng's voice is on the speaker. Wait, what speaker? What is a comlink? I guess maybe I just, it's a walkie-talkie, but magic. Yeah. Maybe it's coming through on that PDA, like, because I assume the PDA that is our save menu is an actual device that we have, right? Yeah. Maybe she's uh, FaceTiming us. Let me guess. You've come back to tell me about another life-threatening shadow run that would be perfect for someone of my talents. Oh, no, that's not the case. The Plastic Uh Faced Man. All right. Where is the Plastic Faced Man? All right. He won't tell us yet. Uh, that sounds like plot progression. Yeah. Yes! Holy shit! That is the best stuff we can get. What? <laughs> you just, your character just becomes 50% more powerful? Yeah, I Holy guess so. crap, for a physical adept, that's amazing. Well, it I is. this is going to be the point where we cut the episode, because, like, after this, yeah. we're going to be doing so much power increase stuff. Yeah. Uh, it was very nice to see you all. Um, mm, we will be back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for running the shadows with us. See you around.